it is important to measure the diameter of the cylinder liner bore at regular interval and keep the records. Check the bore is within the wear limit. The measurements for both diameters of transverse and longitudinal direction should be taken at three points of the cylinder liner. When measuring, the temperatures of bore gauge and the cylinder liner should be same. If the diameters of the cylinder liner bore are not within the wear limit during the measuring, be sure to hone the bore of cylinder liner. For values, check to the instruction manual. This is the template supplied by engine manufacturer. In these three points are already given in which the gauge has to be placed and the measurement of cylinder diameter to be taken. This is the gauge which is used to measure the cylinder diameter. Basically this is a micrometer. Like this the gauge is placed in forward up direction and port stabo direction. The measurements of all the three points is taken. The bottom point measurement is difficult from top so try to take it from the bottom. There are chances of gauge fall to sump if not holding properly. Then the values are recorded on the overall report sheet. We need to take measurements in four different positions. This type of big micrometer is used to take the measurements. While taking the measurements, be careful not to damage the crank pin surfaces. Take the measurements in four different positions and check the values. Enter the obtained values in this form and find out the ovality and compare it with the maximum ovality allowed in the manual. For checking the ovality of connecting rod, the connecting rod palm nuts and bottom bearing nuts has to be tied to full torque without the bearings. The measurements has to be taken in 5 positions A, B, C, D and E. The C and D is taken just near to the middle portion. After that, the values are entered in the prescribed form. The piston rings are installed back with correct toe position. After that, take the clearances.
piston pin clearances are measured and values are entered. If the valve spindle and valve guides are new, the values will not be so important. But if you are using the same parts, find out the values and if exceeding the limit, change with new one.